Okay, I went ahead and put it together, the new flat gun. That's one of the ROC Hobby Jeeps sitting there, just kind of for scale. I'll have a little bit on the Jeep at the end of this. Um, even the box is pretty good size. I'm really happy with this. I think I got a really good deal. Um, I talked to a couple of my buddies who collect, and they, they agree with me that it was just a steal. I started collecting this stuff again about 12 years ago, and in all that time, I've never seen one of these up for sale, new or used, for less than $200. And I got this one for $130. And once you add shipping and tax, it was a little under $180 delivered to my door. And I am really happy with it. It was advertised as new, and I knew in advance that the box had been opened and the trays had been removed from the box. But I don't think any of the pieces had ever been removed from the trays. Everything was still uh, as it should be. Um, there's just one little flaw, we'll get to that in a minute, but I, if this thing is really detailed and I'm really happy with it, I'm glad I bought it. It says on the box, not for children three years of age and under, and that kind of made me laugh because this thing is really uh, detailed, and I think with a four-year-old it probably wouldn't last a day. The sighting system, there's some very delicate pieces on here that um, I don't think would hold up with a kid. and. One of the little problems is that the stools don't want to stay up. They're supposed to fold and fold up, and I'm not sure how they transported these things. I'd imagine they had to take them off this base. That base, I don't see any way to tow it, or, you know, it's really wide. But uh, if this gets to driving me really crazy, I'll put it up exactly like I want it, and I'll just put a couple drops of white glue in there, like Elmer's glue, and that'll hold it just fine for what I need. It'll dry clear, it'll be very hard to see. And if I ever want to reverse that, a few drops of water will dissolve the glue and I'll be all set. Now on the guns, there was one little problem. Um, obviously, on one side, it's upside down from the other. They, they flip them back and forth. And the lower part of the gun, the top part of the gun actually, has a hinge up here at the front and it's designed to open up. And that has a press fit to hold it closed and it wasn't a very good one on any of the guns and it would fall down and then the magazine would fall up. But on, now on this side, that wasn't a problem. See what I mean? Because here the guns are turned upside down. So this is the piece right here that lifts up and I got gravity helping me hold it in place. So I didn't have any problem over here. So I took some, just a small, tiny little dab of zap goo and put it on the friction fit part and uh, um, that'll hold it together. It won't come apart, but if I ever want to remove it, I can. I didn't want to use something as, as uh, permanent as like super glue. So this stuff, and I know I've talked about it before, but this stuff is really great. I use it to put stowage and stuff on all my tanks. This Pershing right here, you can see the two lar or the three larger boxes that come stock on the tank, one on the left and two on the right. Everything else is held on, like the packs on the side of the turrets, uh, the extra crates, that's all held on with Zap Goo. And it's been on there for years. I've never lost anything off a tank that I put on with Zap Goo. And when I want to take it off, it's just a slow, steady pressure, because this stuff never really gets hard. And it might take, you know, 10 seconds or so, but that goo will start to stretch, and then it'll pop off for you, and the residue is easily removed. And no, I don't work for these guys, and I'm not making any money from them. But I, it's just a really good project. You should try it. So anyway, that's the the new uh, quad flat gun. Another thing I like about it, unlike the single barrel one, the guns are very smooth on this one. Oh, there I knock one up. They go up and down. And you can see the sight moving with, with the gun barrels. I like that part. And like I said, it does swivel like it's supposed to. Lost the magazine here. But uh, I'm really pleased that I purchased it and that's, if you run across one of these and you can pick it up for less than 200 bucks, if it's in good shape, I highly recommend it. They're a very, very sweet little piece. Now on the Jeep, I think I'm gonna do a separate short little video on the ROC Hobby Jeeps on the spare tire. I don't have the hub on there right now, but when the one that comes with the uh, with the Jeep is wrong. They've got the f the hub from the front tire and you can see that's got part of the like uh, front spindle assembly. That's the hub from the wheel sticking through the rim of the tire. That should not be on the back of the Jeep but I got a fix for that. So 
we'll talk about that uh, sometime soon. Till then, we'll see you next time.